What's cooking? What's been going on today? I thought I'd do something fun. I'm just going to do a little one card reading today for all signs. And I'm going to give a little message to each sign, to, just a, a little fun thing to see how each sign wakes up <laughs> from the winter. You know, now that spring is finally here, the snow is finally melting, or, you know, <laughs> things have started to bloom in some places, you know, the birds are singing louder and all that sort of thing. So I just thought this would be a little fun little thing to do, just to see. Talk about how every sign wakes up. I mean, this, this isn't for everyone, it's just a fun little thing that I thought I would do. And I'll do a one card reading to see what your present energy is for you. So let's just get started, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna use this. I'm not gonna like change my screen or anything, just because it's just a one card reading and just a little fun thing to do. So I think I'm gonna start with Libra. Ooh, Libra, what's going on? How are you coming out of hibernation? You know, Libras, they like the smell of spring. It just gives them that sense of motivation to just wake up and, you know, absorb all the senses that spring brings um you know you feel like you can give your heart a little bit more because you know you're just out of that funk from the winter and you're embracing the fresh air of the spring maybe you're opening up a window more often and stuff like that or stepping outside more um you know, with venus as your ruling planet you kind of embrace your ego a little bit more at this time of the year you're more into, you know, looking forward to a new journey ahead of what, you know, everything's new in spring, new flowers, you know, the trees are growing their leaves back again, so you just like to embrace that new thing within yourself. And for your one card reading, let's see what, what energy Libra is having right now, or what messages do the cards have for Libra today? A page of cups. You know, like, I feel like just because the page of cups is in reverse, the, the message that the cards have for you today is that just to, like, it's okay to let your guard down once in a while and just enjoy this, you know, just enjoy what the moment of what is happening for you. Um, you know, I feel like you're not up to celebrating big parties and stuff. You're just content the way you are, you know? You don't need any extra attention towards yourself right now. You're just chilling. You're just, you know, embracing the spring. <laughs> and yeah, that's your energy for today. Let's see, what is next? How about I go with Scorpio? What's in store? For, like... How does Scorpio come out of hibernation? Um, Scorpio, I just feel like at this time of year you just you just love spring. I just feel like you're just ready to declutter. You're ready to get started on that spring cleaning, you know? <laughs> All the things you've accumulated during the winter, you know, maybe you're one of those that just haven't had a chance to take down all their Christmas decorations yet or holiday decorations and you're just like, mm, I guess I better get to it now. You just have that motivation, maybe not that energy specifically, but just that energy around that kind of thing, you know? You're just ready to organize your your home, your mind, your life, your, your soul. Maybe you're, it's that time of year where you just want to get out into nature and do some little soul searching of your own. With... Pluto being your ruling planet right now, I just feel like it's that time that just gives you that boost to focus on the path ahead of you moving forward. Let's just see what your one card reading has to say for you. <laughs> the devil. Are you feeling a little devilish? Are you like looking forward to some sensual pleasure? Mm -hmm. You know, that devilly feeling. I get that. It's spring. I could feel like, you know, you're just tempted <laughs> in one way or another. You know, temptation, temptations are strong right now. <laughs> that's not a bad thing, right, Scorpio? Right? That's, that's, that's pretty. <laughs> Let's just go to Sagittarius. How does Sagittarius come out of hibernation? 
I just feeling like you're just ready to move mountains, right? You're just, you know, you're coming out of your cave there and you're like, yep, yeah, let's go. We can do big things. We can do, we can think big, you know? You're just looking to find some opportunities, maybe some new adventures, try something new. Maybe there's a new restaurant you've been thinking of trying that you haven't tried already. I just feel like you're, you're having that energy of, you know, <laughs> spring. Spring brings new things and new opportunities and new, 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 right? You know, with your ruling planet, Jupiter, I'm just feeling like you're kind of like having the love and passion to make more money for yourself. You know, maybe you're more productive at work. Maybe you're more willing to take more work or maybe you're looking for a little side hustle. I just feel like you're having that energy right now. Be mindful to stay center, you know, like keep yourself focused and stay center. Don't fall off your track. Just stay steady, you know, a steady pace in the right direction. You'll know what that is when you find it, right? Let's just see what your one card reading has to say. The chariot. Yeah, you're definitely moving forward. You're ready to move those mountains. You're ready to, you know, have a straight arrow. It's just so funny that the card just, you know, this is encouraging. You. Keep going. You're on the right path. Just stay center, you know? Don't don't take any wrong turns. Just keep going. Um, next thing I'm gonna do Capricorn. How does Capricorn come out of hibernation? I feel like you're just accepting the new what new spring brings for you, right? I just feel like that energy. I just feel like you know, you're, you're kind of just coming out of your cave slowly. You have a little bit of caution. You're coming out of hibernation, but you're embracing s spring like one step at a time. Like, hold on. I'm not waking up too fast. I'm taking my time here, you know? You're just having a little bit of caution. And you know, that's kind of expected for a Capricorn, you know? Mm-hmm. Just feeling like you don't want to be overstimulated, you know? Like there's a lot of, you know, the air is changing, the time is changing. It's just, whoa, I need, a, I need a catch pace of what's going on here, right? Ready to, maybe you just want to get a pen and write down some ideas. Just to, you feel like you need a plan. Plan, you know? Maybe you're planning out your garden. Maybe you're planning, you know, your new spring wardrobe. Maybe you're just looking at your closet like, hmm. How can I update it for this season, you know? <laughs> Let's see what your one card tarot has to say. <laughs> Three of Pentacles. I just feel like you're putting a lot of your efforts into perfection. Maybe that's why you need to, to come out slowly and write down your plans and just think of your ideas. You just want to make sure that you got this right. Like, you know, you know, like going maybe you're, like I said maybe I just feel like you're going through maybe your your wardrobe or whatever like hey, is that so in style should I like upgrade you know like you just want to be perfect just you're looking for perfection I can see that mm -hmm. <laughs> you know she's just creating her little pentacle there you know and like what, what how can I like make this pentacle better like how can I fix it how can I like move forward and get things done you know mm -hmm. Let's just go to Aquarius. Aquarius. Sweet love. Spring is here. <laughs> I just have that for you. You're not just ready for motivation. You're just ready for a new adventure, you know? Mm -mm -mm. You're just ready to get outside, spend more time outdoors, you know? The sun is out longer now. It's like filling up with new ideas, new adventures, new, mm, you know? Just, you have like so much going on up there, right? Ready for whatever lies ahead of you. Let's see what your one card tarot has to say. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, you're ready to create something new. Mm, what is it? You're just ready to manifest something for yourself. You're just ready to catch those opportunities as they come. You know, you're just ready to put your work into it. Your mind is just set on your goals that you have. I just feel like, you know, just now that you, you now that you have your goals, I just feel like you're planning on sticking to your goals this time, you know? Maybe you made a goal previously and you didn't get around to doing them all. But now it's like, ah, now I'm going to make sure I get to them. I'm going to stick to them. And <laughs> that's the groove I'm going to take. So let's just see what is next. Let's Pisces, Pisces, how do you come out of hibernation? Ooh, how do you come out of hibernation? Pisces, you're done with all the superficial cliches, right? Right? You know? Like what? Like what do you mean take out the white now? I've been wearing white all year, you know? I never put my whites away kind of thing, you know? You're just like doing you and you don't care what anybody thinks. You're just, you? You're just doing you? <laughs> what? What's wrong with that, right? You're just coming out like, 
New season? Woo! I'm always ready. <laughs> Nothing new here. <laughs> just feel that energy for you, Pisces, you know? You're ready to just maybe work on yourself a little bit more, you know, maybe do some self-love kind of thing deal right now, you know? Um, I feel like you're just ready for love, you're ready for completing your goals, you're just ready to work on you, you know? As long as you walk on a straight line, you know, anything is possible, right? <laughs> Let's see what your one card tarot has to say. Eight of Cups. Our Eight of Cups. Why does it say Eight of Cups? Oh my gosh, Two of Cups. I knew this is Two of Cups. What does Eight of Cups mean? Eight of Cups is like walking away. Is there like some Pisces that are walking away? Hmm, I don't know. I just had that. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Two of Cups. I just feel like things are coming together for you. Maybe you're going to meet someone new. You know, maybe you're just going to meet up with an old friend or whatever. Or someone's going to pop up all of a sudden. Or you're going to get a, a call from someone you haven't kind of heard from in a long time. I just have that energy for you, Pisces. Let's just see. How about Leo? Leo, how do you come out of hibernation? I feel like spring is your element and it's your time to shine. You know, you're a, you're a Leo, right? You're just ready to roar. You're just ready for this, right? You're just ready to draw attention to yourself, you know? Mm -mm -mm. You're just ready to meet new people, see new things, try new things. You're just up for the adventure, right? Like, come on, spring. I can take it. I'm ready for it. Um, I feel like maybe you're going to be working on creating something for yourself, something that will draw attention to yourself or attention to your business or attention to whatever that you have going on, and you're just going to, like, grow it. You know, I just feel like you're going to, like, be in touch with your sense of humor and just use your humor to attract more attention to yourself, right? I, I feel like that is the energy that you have, you know? You're just ready to show people what you're made of, what you can do, and how you're going to prog progress this season, you know? That's what I'm feeling for you. So let's just see what your one card tarot has to say about all of that, right? Eight of Wands, all that fiery energy. You're going to be doing a lot of movement, a lot of focus, a lot of action, you know? a lot of determination. And I feel like you got this, right? You got this. I just feel like all that fiery energy is going. You're just, mm, just ready for the season. Aries, what's going on, Aries? How do you come out of hibernation? I just feel like you just don't want to waste any time, you know? You're all about with all nature's coming and booming and blossoming. You're just ready to get right out there and, you know, socialize, you know, be like a little busy bee. <laughs> You're just ready to maybe boost your business or boost whatever creativity ideas that you have right now. I just feel like you're maybe a little Try something new kind of thing, you know? Maybe you're going to try a little bit of Zumba or that kind of energy, you know? I just feel like you're open to new opportunities. You just want to ready to see what's out there. So let's just see what the one card show is for Aries. <laughs> the Emperor. You see that? <laughs> Emperor. I just feel like the Emperor card, you're just feeling a little... You know? You're ready to stick to the rules, you know, you're just ready to stick to what you're doing, you know? I, I don't know, I just feel like that energy that you're focused on working on your business or working on your work or focus on making something for yourself. Maybe it's a new hobby or a side hustle, whatever it is. Get your act together kind of thing, you know? I just feel like you're just going to clean up a little bit, brush yourself off from the winter and get going on the things that you want to get done, right? Right. <laughs> Let's just see what's the store for Taurus. How do you come out of hibernation? You know, like wake up at spring. I know Tauruses are kind of spring is here already. Like the time is changing. I know the sun's like why is the sun out? I want to sleep in, but it's so sunny. <laughs> I get that. I get that. you're like practically like you're strong, and you know it's just the time of the year where you're not particularly up to you know, moving too fast. <laughs> you have a slow pace, slow energy kind of vibe, eh? I just feel like, you know, you may want to do some self-care, maybe work on a little bit of workouts, you know, maybe focus on your health right now, you know? It's spring, it's time to, maybe you're going to start walking again or jogging again, whatever it is that you do, Doris. 
um, you're just ready for it. You know, maybe create a new identity for yourself. Just try something new. Maybe whatever you were doing before, you're just gonna, like, I don't know, try something different. Something different. You know, it's spring, so maybe I'll consider something different. You know, I gotta think about it, though. <laughs> Let's see what your one tarot carrot tarot has to say. <laughs> Knight of Wands. <sighs> Being creative. You're just, you know, you're just ready to move. You have that fiery energy. You're, you're, you're inspired. You have some passions. Maybe you, you've been working on something. You're just going to have like more passion to work on it. More coming into the, the next couple of weeks, going into spring. You're just going to find that motivation within yourself. And you're just going to, you know, be ready for an adventure. Maybe you'll try to be a little more impulsive, you know, Taurus aren't really very impulsive, but you know, <laughs> if things come up on spontaneously, I feel like you're just going to have that energy to consider it. <laughs> so let's just see, what's Gemini, Gemini, how do you come out of hibernation? I just feel like Geminis out there are just ready to party, like where's the party at? I'm ready for it, you know? Spring, like, let's get out the barbecue, let's do this, let's do that, you know, and you're just ready for it, <laughs> you know? You have so many new ideas, so many plans, new people to meet, new people to see, you just, uh, I can just see all that <laughs> hyper energy, like a party, like I'm feeling like a lot of party energy, <laughs> just, you know, like, what are you all waiting for? Come, come, come over, come join the party, you know, let's just chill and let's, you know, Maybe share a few drinks, share a few laughs, you know? I just feel like that energy you have for you, you just can't wait to, I feel like you want to learn new things, you want to explore new things. You just have that passion in you. Let's see what your one card chair has to say. For Gemini. <laughs> yeah, you want to see what's outside your garden, you're exploring. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go see, let's, you know, you're up for new adventure, you're up for everything, right? Maybe you do something a little luxurious, maybe you're like going, thinking about going on a little mini vacation or a little getaway or a little road trip, whatever it is that you just want to do for yourself, that's, you know, maybe that what, something you haven't done like all winter, kind of like realizing that you have skills that you didn't notice before, you're just like ready to look into them deeper and reinvent yourself kind of thing, you know? Mm -hmm. I got that right, yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Cancer. Cancer, how do you come out of hibernation? I feel like as much as you love the warm, cozy vibe of the winter, you know, you just, I feel like you're kind of like being like a little homebody maybe during the winter. You just kind of, it's too cold to go outside. <laughs> but I feel like now that spring is coming, you know, you're, you're going to love the pleasures of all the spring brings, you know? You may be dealing with some, some self emotions about, you know, like, what, like, considering the, the losses you've had and the progress you made during the winter, you know? You're, I feel like you're kind of weighing that out and you're kind of, like, thinking about that. You're kind of, like, stuck in your head. Like, you, you know it's spring and you, you're kind of happy that spring is coming is what I'm trying to say but at the same time you're kind of mm, you know you will find comfort in yourself if you stay true to yourself and true to what you believe and what is true to your heart will help you come out of this you know this funk you know <laughs> let's just see what your one card tarot has to say <laughs> take a leap of faith you know I know you want to stay true to yourself and you want to know what you know and you want to do what's true to your heart but you know taking a leap of faith isn't always a bad thing you know I feel like you know maybe maybe you need to snuggle up in your warm for a little longer maybe you need to watch some drama you know <laughs> some family vloggers are really good at the drama situation if that's what you're in need of you know or watch some comedy something that makes you laugh I feel like that'd be really good for your heart and to get you motivated to go forward in spring and take a leap of faith and look for those new opportunities that are coming for you. <laughs> the last one I have is Virgo. Virgo, how do you come out of uh, hibernation? I just feel when you come out of hibernation, you're just in need of balance. 
No, I guess just feel like, uh, like spring. What do I wear? What do I do? What do I invest my time in? Like, your brain is all over the place. Like, you know, you're kind of torn between your work, the people you love, like the people you care about, but even if it's just your cat, you know? Uh, I don't know who you have to take care of. I'm just feeling the energy that you're, you're focused on. I have to take care of someone or, you know, even if they're a, for a friend, they're your top priority right now. And you're just kind of trying to juggle at work, you know, spring, should I change my wardrobe, you know, what do I do about, you know, family life or, you know, what that sort of energy. You know, I just feel like your focus is really on your work and your health and the people you care about is what I'm trying to say here. This is the feeling I'm having, you know. I feel like you just want, you just feel the pressure of doing it all. But, you know, you don't have to do it all, you know, one thing at a time kind of thing. But you just have that pressure that you need to do it all. Spring is here and you go, ah, like a little tornado kind of thing. <laughs> but, you know, you need to take a step back, take a breath, you know, maybe do some meditation, some yoga, just to collect your thoughts and emotions. And, you know, try not to take what people say too seriously, you know, that time of year, just... They're just anxious for spring too, so just don't take take what people say with a grain of salt. You know, just you you have a strong mind. You're very intelligent. You know what to do. So go with that. <laughs> well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for visiting. <laughs> I hope this was a cute little video. Um, <laughs> I'd love to hear your comments if any of this resonated with you. If not, you know. It doesn't always resonate with every sign. Everyone's different. Some people go with two different signs. Or, you know, mm, <laughs> I know myself. I feel like I'm a Taurus Gemini. I don't, I'm not attached to one sign or other. I'm a little bit of a mix. So I get that if that's how you feel. Nothing really resonated with you. But I'm just glad you stopped by and visit. And I'd love to have you follow me on my other Instagrams if you like. You don't have to. But I'm on, I'm on yeah, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't subscribed already, I'd love for you to join my little soul family here. And we have, like, a good time. I do readings on thir on Tuesdays. Every Tuesday. Zero Tuesday, right? I think just because I love saying Zero Tuesday. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I do live streams. I'm thinking about doing live streams on other days of the week. I haven't decided yet. But I don't know. Do you guys prefer, like, just watching a video and just having a general reading? Or do you guys like having, like, a little interaction with tarot and like asking tarot questions during a live stream i'd love to hear about it <laughs> if that is something you're interested in if not like i just i'm just open to options i'm just trying to find my groove i'm a new channel if you haven't noticed already i'm just trying to like figure out my groove and what interests people more like just the plain old general readings specific readings with a topic or any of that thing any of your advice would be very appreciative. But I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!